Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we are Martin Midlife Misadventures, still coming to you from Arizona. But tell them what we've got. We've got a prepper pantry haul. We sure do. About $45. Some of it came from Walmart. Some of it came from the Dollar Tree. We were a little disappointed in the Dollar Tree here. They do not carry box milk. They just do not carry it. And I was really hoping to get a significant supply of that going for our yeah. son. But we do have a 99 cent and more store. So... We're going to check that out. Maybe they'll have some boxed milk. Yeah, 99 cent and more stores are awesome. Yeah. Show them, Ozzy. Oh. You guys want to see Ozzy? He's a Yorkie poo. That's mom's little baby boy. He's a little old man. He's so stinking sweet. All right, everybody. I have some clips from the Walmart. I'm going to add at the beginning to this. Then we'll show you the haul, and then we'll come back and talk. You're not in the boy's afraid he's gonna be in the picture. I don't. I'm not. We are heading into Walmart. <laughs> I have not been in a Walmart in over a year, so I am Wait, so really, ex uh, really no over way. a year. That's ridiculous. So we're gonna go in this Walmart and see what they got. Let me show you. Here we are, Walmart. Very exciting so in cool, Arizona. It? it is. Here's our canning section. We've got a few jars here. Here and here, eleven ninety seven. Not bad. If you have asked about the textured soy protein, they have it here at Walmart, two thirty seven. I used to get it for a dollar a bag, but if you're looking for the textured soy protein, Walmart has it. I'm gonna tell you right now, a dollar sixty four for two pounds of parboiled rice. Parboiled rice is an amazing price, and it's really good for you. Look for the parboiled rice. Always look for clearance. They've got the no salt added, guys. No salt added green beans, 50 cents a can. So the clearance price is the old regular price and the corn, but the peas are not on sale. I found a clearance section of food, 404 for this ketchup. I just don't feel like it's great deals. So we're missing one of these, and they want $5.66. Look at this, pumpkin spice ground coffee. Mm, we might have to grab one of those. Let's see, look at that. Look at this for this keto friendly, $5.98. This is crazy, guys. I don't know what that is. But look at here, cookie sandwiches. Oh, it's a kit, $3.96. 359. I just feel like clearance should be better than this. Here's a fun thing for 221. Look at all those sprinkles. This is kind of look, see the dent? A dollar four. I mean, is that the best you can do? All right, prepper pantry haul, let's get into it. We're gonna start with these packages of yeast, three packs for 88 cents. We got two of those, these canned goods, whole kernel corn, and then no salt added green beans, 50 cents each. So we got a flat, six of each. Two boxes of this Baby Shark macaroni and cheese on sale for 50 cents a box. Also on sale, these dry roasted Bold and Savory Peanuts, $2.60. And that is all that came from Walmart for $11.36. Then it was time for Dollar Tree. And I started with spices, putting together some basic spices for our son. We got ground cinnamon, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, some chopped onions, Italian seasoning, lemon pepper, this is some imitation uh, bacon bits, a big jar of garlic, this is one of my favorite things to get from Dollar Tree, some black pepper, and some salt. So that, I think, is a good start to anybody's spices. So I was super happy to find those items. We also picked up some basic condiments, ketchup, and mustard for $1.25 each. Four cans of chicken, was happy to find that. Two packages of ramen, 
two pounds of long grain rice. These were 60 cents each, so we went ahead and got two of the baking sodas. This is 150 coffee filters. We got some baggies, some pop-up foil, some parchment paper, an, a good potato peeler, and a nice pair of kitchen shears. So all of this together was $45.06. All right, friends, what did you think about that haul? I guess for $45, it was all right. It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> but seriously, we were happy to get the start to a nice spice cabinet, yeah. just a few essential things like the peeler and the thing. He needs some kitchen items, so we're going to be hitting the Goodwill up because I'm hoping we can find a nice rice cooker. Mm -hmm. An air fryer would be absolutely perfect for him. Yeah. Um, those kind of things. And if we can't find them there, they do have them fairly inexpensive over at Walmart, so we'll right. pick them up there. Yeah. Um, we have to say, we have been so sick, it is not even funny, Every, me, Amy, Mom, all of us, down for the last week. It's so funny, we've been here, we've had all these things we needed to do, and um, places we wanted to go, but we haven't been Man, able to go get out anywhere. <laughs> we have not been able to go anywhere, but we're not leaving until we do the things that we want to do. We're still waiting on car parts. And this has been the trouble. Getting the actual parts yeah. has been a nightmare. But hopefully by the end of this week, we start getting the rest of those parts in. Oh, man, say a prayer, you guys. Yeah, it's just one thing after the other. But like we said, we're all on the mend, doing great. And we do have to say our hearts, our prayers, just everything go out to these people in Tennessee. Yeah. I cannot wrap my brain around it um, that a woman would do these things. Um, we're not supposed to understand that. No. Because uh, there's no there's no sense in any of it. It's no. It's just pure evil. Yeah. Um, man, and our hearts are just broken for the families. I can't even, I can't even, cannot even imagine. So please lift them up in your prayer because they need us. They really, really need us right now. And uh, stay close to your families. Yeah. Keep them close to you. Keep an eye on them. Be safe out there. And... Uh, Keep doing the things. Keep doing the things. And part of those things is to continue to stock that pantry. Yes. Do not stop. The deals are getting harder to find, as you could tell from my little Walmart clips. Um, finding good deals is getting a lot harder. So when you find them, you got to snatch them up. Yeah. And they're still going to be easier to find right now than they are in six months from now. Exactly. So it's still an investment in your future. Yes. Absolutely. We want to thank you all for your support, patience, love, prayers, all of yeah. it. Uh, like I said, we're on the mend, so things are going a lot better for us. And we do plan on doing all the things we said we were going to do. <laughs> we're still waiting on car parts, guys. Yeah. Getting the parts for the truck has been hard. But hopefully by the end of the week, we have our next batch of parts oh, in. Let's say a prayer, all. Yeah. Say it's, a prayer. It's been something. Man. So... Please continue to stack it to the rafters. Do not stop. Believe in your heart that you're doing the right thing. Shop for those deals. Reach out to your family members and let them know they need to be doing the same. And uh, God bless us all. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We love you all. We love you. Please give us a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment. And we're going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you all. Shalom.